Morning everybody and good morning ladies. It's quite a uh, nice and chilly morning this morning. Girls are coming out nicely. And a couple of girls pat on the way through. Girls are in. Morning Dad. How are we this morning? Not, to, not blowing away this morning with the wind? What's that? Not blowing away with the wind? No, not looking good for the lime. No, we won't be liming today. I think so. Gusts are 20 degrees, uh, a 20 kilometre per hour winds with gusts up to 40. Yeah. All washed up. Dad's finished washing up. I'm just putting the final rinse cycle through very shortly. He's out there, he's looking for uh, pumpkins. There's pumpkin mound one there and pumpkin mound two over the back. He looking for pumpkins. And he found one. And a good sized pumpkin. <laughs> well, you see the girls are down there, all cleaned up and hung our jetters up. All of them turned off. We're off to go and hop in the track. You coming, Bobo? Yeah, Bobo's coming today. And Aaron should be just waiting out here for us. There he is. Into the track. The dad's really headed down. Not far behind him. See how we go today. Depending on how the wind is, we might be able to get into the lime. But we'll see how we go. Just idle her down the farm. No point rushing. So only yeah. Uh, we'll only get down there and have to wait for dad anyways. Oh well, something tells me the irrigator needs shifting today. It's right up against the fence. Yeah, time's just irrigator. Yeah. Nice and close along here. Bumper da bumper. Down maze. That's what we'll do. As you see along here, we've got quite a bit of down maze. And leaning maze tangles up and then doesn't want to go through the uh, chopper. Nice load there today. We're gonna go here nice and close to the maze because it's very heavy. Last thing I want to do is sit down. You can see all the top of the maze, it's all leaned over. And no good, not good at all. Down here's pretty good though. Along here's nice. You can see the direction the wind came in. Stay away from that drain. It's edge because we'll um, get stuck. And that won't be any fun. And then down here is not too bad. See, it's a little bit leaning over, but it's not too much. So, Alright, let's go feed out some cows. So I put the silage bale on the back and uh, looked at the load again and it's settled down a bit since I went around the outside to get around to uh, get out. And we need a little bit more. Yeah, we didn't need too much more, but uh, I blew a ship. And... Yeah, it's bound to happen, especially with a maze like this. It's fun and games. Hey? There's your course and standing fine and the pioneers uh, 
Fine here, standing fine. The course is a little bit, yeah, down. There we are, broken shear pin. Put the new one in. Goes in there like that. Yeah. And we'll tighten them up. There's his little bolt there, there's his little nut. Put that in there. Easy piece. Well, we leave it to, to the professionals. <laughs> well, he's done it probably about a hundred times. Once he's put the shear pin in, we've got to use this ratchet here and uh, push the maze out. Put his little house on him. Dad's winding out the maze. See, he's moving. Pop out here and pull it out. Ellie there. Nice and clear. I gotta check this in the wagon. Stan says, that was blocking that. And there we are, like so. Start her up. That's a good sign. Chucked out some maze. Better hop back in the truck there. We've chucked maze out. That means she's uh, not blocked up. And we're all done. Nice loaded up. Maze. Dad's on the motorbike there. Yeah. She's gone 10 past 9. There's a good load of maize in our silage bale back there. We had to put a bit more maize on top because there wasn't quite enough um, maize on that load. Right. Let's go. Let's see what we can get up to today. The wind's picked up a bit and um, it's meant to pick up a bit more so we're a bit yeah, probably won't be doing our, um, our spreading our lime today, so we have to pick up a lot more. So by the time we load up and get our may get a load up with the lime and get out to the paddock, it'll be too windy. We'll see what we get up to today. With our silence. And there, a little wrap. Ah, ah, stay. And we're gonna go set up a paddock for uh, for tonight. <laughs> it's waiting for me. <laughs> Standard. Real. That's where they're going tonight. So dad goes ahead with the motorbike and I do the standards. Okay. Easy peasy. And just over halfway so they can back graze for tomorrow. Yeah, all set up. Easy peasy. Both dogs on the motorbike. Take the uh, trailer here. The deck off the trailer for my brother. Because we've got to go mow Nana's lawn today. Quick so drive shaft. 100 horsepower drive shaft, you're saying, Dad? 200. What? Dad? That's going to go there. Back of me brother's uh, ute tray there. He's going to swap that into his, um, onto his Holden, uh, Holden Colorado. There's a maze wagon out of the way for the tanker. We're not sure if he'll come early. He could possibly come early, but he's meant to be here at about quarter past uh, four this afternoon. Probably in the middle of milking. Hopefully he either comes after milking or um, at the start of milking because if he comes at like 20 past four, we'll probably only have about 100, 200 litres left. It's all good. Oh, yeah. Well, that's us. See you all later. I'm gonna go mow Nana's lawn now. And he's off. We just got back from uh, mowing Nana's lawn. That took about about 45 minutes. Not too bad. She's got a nice small lawn. All right, back this big girl up, and then uh, get the motorbike and go shift the irrigator. Track the moves. I also filled her up. She needed a good uh, refill, and uh, we'll go shift the irrigator now. Get it ready for tonight. And then um, 
Yeah, it'll be us for today. Because uh, Nana's lawn and that one blockage would have taken us a good half an hour of time to actually unblock. So it's all part of it. Alright, let's go. Here we go, she's all hooked up to the bike. <laughs> that got close to the fence. When I was hooking her up. Didn't get a shock of her though. Alright, let's go, Arrow. Let's go set her up in the next paddock. The irrigator's all shifted. Hydrant's done. Awesome. Just gone about half past 11 now. So I think we'll call it a day there. I'll see you all at Milking tonight. Beautiful skies. It's a bit chilly today. It's only about 18 degrees, but with that wind factor, the chill, the wind there. It's a bit chilly. It's going to be a nice cold morning in the morning. All right, see you all at Milking tonight. Afternoon, everybody. Dash down there. He's bringing the cows up. They're on their way. We started up the hose now. So to, we wet the yard, makes it a bit easier for Dad to wash. And we've also got the sprinkler going just to cool down the concrete a little bit. All going. Still, we haven't had a tanker yet, so um, we're not too worried. Uh, if he does come, I was talking to Dad. Dad said he'll generally only take the amount that he should have taken today. So he'll only probably end up taking about 3,700 litres. So that's all right. It's not too bad for us, we should be able to carry on milking. We'll have enough in there so it doesn't freeze at the bottom of the vat. If he does take, does end up taking the whole lot and um, leaves us with about two, three hundred litres in there, then we're going to have to manage it all night and make sure it doesn't freeze. But it should be alright, he's only going to take the amount that he needs, the amount that's specified to take. So we found out that they've had a breakdown, so that happens every now and then. So it's all good then on that. Awesome, sit the cash it up and get to Morgan. See Dad down there, he's spraying some fly spray on the back of their backs. Take off the flies. Cows don't mind it. Doesn't mind the cows, but the uh, flies don't like it. Pet cow A 127. Eh? Good job. High tail. The high tail on it. Eh? Good job. Working well. All right, come on, girls. Come on, girls. Come on. Come on. Push her up, girls. Soon. The helicopter, the environment, why can't a helicopter be doing spraying soon? Sprays the drains in our area with the same stuff we spray our drains with. Yep. Put it on by boom, but... Yeah, they boom spray onto the main drain. Too bad. They'll be happy. Two happy cows. Probably got twice as much as normal. Kind of full and happy cows. Where they're going tonight, there's a lot of grass. Be lush tucker. Very lush tucker. Very happy. They're coming in slow, going out slow. Not really in the biggest rush to get in the paddock, and that's the sign we like to see. Dad's found a few more bulling cows. I think our list is up to 30 cows that are uh, culling this year so far. It's good, we've got room for 50 cows. About four o'clock, and the tag is here. Awesome. That's all right. As long as he comes and picks up the milk, Dad's gonna go see what he did and how he's doing. Tag a man, Dad. How's Mr. Tanker Man? Good. good. Under the pump. Yeah, flat knackers. How much we send? Uh, I only took 37.50. Okay, you only took 37.50 today. Come on, shh, shh, come on, up, up, up. come on. Shh, shh. We'll get complete tomorrow morning. Complete tomorrow morning? Sounds good. Nice and early, probably quarter to eight. Yeah, we'll have an early pickup tomorrow. Have a like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the morning. Thank you. Dad's all washed up, ready to go. We're going to go down. We're going to go feed out our load of maize and silage. So let's go.
Let's get to it, eh? It's our minefield paddock. This paddock's got a lot of rushes in it, so we'll try and avoid the rushes. If we don't avoid the rushes, not rushes, sorry. If we don't avoid the stumps, we could pop a tyre. Especially not very good popping a tyre on the feed out wagon. Feeding the girls, they're happy. Look how much grass they got left. Jeepers. There's a heap of grass in there. Very happy girls. So as the wagon gets down less and less, we just slowly change down the gears. That is too low. We just slowly turn go down the gear ranges and um, it just feeds out into a good pile. Thing is you want a good sized pile, you don't want not you don't want too much, you don't want uh, not enough. Just keep it in a good pile. How big of a pile? Probably about half a red band gum boot in height. To a red band gum boot in height, roughly. <laughs> 